Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to Law Creations. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys my... He's about 95% finished. It's a Shadowland slash Armored Daredevil custom that I made. Uh, the only thing I have to finish up is the uh, is his weapons. I, I cut I cut a piece of uh, aluminum here that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, and, and it is uh, it's hollow. So I just have to uh, fill in the uh, holes, paint up the weapons, and give them a way to attach to the uh, belt on the sides. So that's the only thing I have to finish up. But other than that, he's complete. Uh, he's painted up. He's uh, he's wearing his armor, and uh, I think he came out really pretty good. Uh, the belt is from, I believe, it's a Marvel Universe figure. Uh, Wonder Man, maybe? It, it, it was a purple belt. But uh, I added some pouches and an armored plate for his uh, buck, uh, his belt buckle. Painted the uh, his emblem. And uh, the armor was is a Marauder's Task Force. You've seen me use it in my in my Mandalorian custom, but it it comes as one piece. The top piece and the bottom are one, and I just cut it so I can get uh, a couple different uses out of it. So the top pot served for my shoulder armor, and the the bottom pot served for uh, the forearm armor. And uh, I think he came up pretty good. I gave him some. Uh, some nice gray shading. Uh, it's like a black gray shading on the muscle tone. Not necessarily a dry brush, but more of like a... Uh, I use kind of a wet application on it. And the beautiful part of uh, using this particular uh, figure... You saw my last video, obviously, it was a boss fight. Uh, Vertuvian hack blank. But I used a black base color. So for this particular figure, I could pose them in any way I want and not have to worry about uh, paint rub at all. So this custom was very simple uh, because there was no dremeling involved. There was no worry about paint rub. Uh, the, probably the most difficult part was attaching the head via magnet, like you saw in my last video. And painting the, uh, the Daredevil sign. That was a pain. I mean, I can use a marker or something and it come out okay, but painting? Good Lord, I'm not a very good painter. But uh, it was a pain. But I think it came out okay after a couple tries. But yeah, so this is what he looks like. He is very articulated. Uh, I'll show you the back as well. I don't know if you guys can see the, the gray... Uh, the gray shading I gave on his, on the muscle tone. Uh, it doesn't really reflect very well in the light. Forgive my my video skills, but I'm using my phone, and I don't have the best setup. So, but he can be posed in probably any old way you want. The only thing he can't do is his arms go out like a you know kind of a butterfly type position because I had to glue the uh I had a glue I gotta figure out a better way to attach armor on the shoulders so I'm not too concerned but he he can rotate all the way around get some really good poses obviously his legs are very very poseable uh he's got really good articulation these figures have great articulation but if I see a Marvel Universe figure that I don't like and I think I can make it better I try to and uh, I don't mind spending a few bucks on the original figure to make uh, to make my own. So I've got to go with I like this a heck of a lot better than I like this one. This one just is the articulation and just just how he looks. He just looks like kind of a robot here. And this look is just more. Uh, it's more natural. It's more the body the body style the. The musculature, uh, at first I thought he was going to be too muscular for this particular figure, but I think this body uh, sculpt is perfect for a daredevil. But yeah, so I should be able to get some really nice uh, poses out of him. But uh, yeah, so that's the recipe, guys. Uh, 
If you ever want to make yourself a daredevil, Shadowland, get yourself a Vertuvian hack, red or black uh, base. Get yourself some Marauders uh, armor, cut it, you know, glue it, paint it up. Get yourself any kind of old belt you want. But very, very simple custom. And I think it looks a thousand times better. So, I do like the face sculpt. It's pretty cool. It's got the red eyes. I don't know if you guys can see the red eyes. But it's pretty awesome. But I hope you guys like, subscribe to my channel, comment. Let me know what you think about the figure. Let me know how it could be better. Let me know what you like about it. Uh, and I'll keep the videos coming. I appreciate uh, every in... Uh, Every and all comments, and I appreciate my uh, 45 subscribers. Not a whole lot, but I'm happy with, uh, if one is enjoying my videos, I'll keep making them. So, but I appreciate you guys checking things out. And uh, please like and subscribe. You guys have a good night, okay? Thank you.